use case 23. Check the max contacts allowed field on the account record and if the number of child contacts go beyond this number, do not allow the contact insertion and association to this account. So we'll create a field on the account record and this field will basically govern the number of child contacts that you can associate or create under every account. Okay, so let's say this number is five, you can only create five contacts and if you go ahead and try to create the sixth one, the system will give you an error and it will not let you insert the contact or associate it with this account. This is our use case. Okay, so first I'll go ahead and create this field on the account object. Let's go to object manager, let's go to account. Alright, so my field has been created and it is called max contacts allowed, right? And now let's go back to our use case. What object and what context would this be? This should be on the contact insertion, right? So as soon as I try to insert a contact, I have to do this checks first. So if I have to do this checks first, which means I have to write this on the before insert context, right? So let's go ahead and write the before insert context here. So this would be contact trigger hand contact trigger and I have the before insert context available and I have the before insert context here and I have handle before insert method. So let's open this method and write our code in here. So handle before insert is here right. So we were checking duplicates sometime back for some other scenario right. So now we'll be doing another check which would be for this particular max contacts allowed okay so let's go ahead and try doing that so here i am on the contact loop and i am checking another loop here all right this is for the duplicate found let's keep it as is i will try to use another loop here for this particular use case okay and at the end we can merge the loops if if we can so i'll say for con in new records what I want to do is I want to fetch the parent accounts max contacts allowed field right and I also want to fetch which contact is associated to which account and I also want to fetch whether the count is basically more than what it's what it's supposed to be okay so let's do it step by step so I'll say account IDs dot add con dot account ID okay and I'll create a con ID versus account ID map like we have been creating something similar every time I'll say con id comma con dot account id okay so that's the first thing I've done what's the second thing I want to basically create a map of id comma account and I'll say account map equals I want to fetch the max contacts allowed for every account that there exists right so I'll just copy this field from here and I'll say max contacts from account where which account should I take a look at where ID in these accounts in the account IDs list right so and I'll directly put it on a map so that I get the map of ID comma account which so that I'm able to use it for any kind of get or set so I'll say save now what all errors are coming up account ID is not defined so I'll just go ahead and say list of ID account ID is equal to new list of ID. Let's say save. What is the next error? It should be that the map is not defined. So I'll say map of ID comma ID equals new map of ID comma ID. And I'll just take this name and I'll say save. What's the next error? Next error is here. Oh, this is a duplicate, right? So I think we have already created this IDs and there's already a loop here. So let's get rid of this because i've already written it here it should work for the below code also let's say save okay no errors now all good now i have this account map and i think i have created some account map here also down below so i can get rid of this particular map also and just maybe copy this particular field and put it here and i can get rid of this particular map also okay we are already leveraging whatever we have written for some previous use cases Cool. So now I have the account IDs, I have the con ID versus account map and I have the account record map. Okay. Now this account record map contains the account ID as the key and the entire account object in the value. Now what I want to do is I want to check.
Now before doing another for loop, what should I check? I should basically be able to check whether I have those many contacts under every account record that this particular field allows me to do. Right? So what I want to do is I want to check for every account ID number of tasks, number of contacts is what I want to check. Right? So once I have this information, I can then check whether the new contact that's coming in is that is that needed or can I just throw an error? Because if the number of contacts have is already equal to equal to the max contacts allowed, I should not let them do anything. That is our ask, right? So I'll go ahead and create one more map. And this time I'll create it with the account record, record map itself. Or what I can do is, should I be able to use this particular query only? Because I want to do a inner query. So I want to do something like this. I want to say select ID from contacts. This will give me all the related contacts for every account in the same query, right? So I have it here in the account record map. Let's try to use this map to get everything, okay? So I'll say for ID, account ID in account record map dot key set. So I'm iterating over all the account IDs that exist. Right. So what I want to do now is I want to check the total contacts associated with this with every account. So I can simply say list of contact con records or rather I can say let's see. Okay, let's go with this list of contact con record list equals account record map dot get account ID. This will give me the entire account record and I'll just fetch the contacts information. This will be populated on the list. Can I do that? Let's see. This got saved. And what if I do this? I want to check the size or rather the count. So I can simply say dot size because this is a list. And then I can change this to a number. I can say integer number of contacts per account and say save. Okay, so this got saved. Understand this account record map dot get ACC ID. What will this give me? This will give me the entire account record, which is of this particular ID and dot contacts will give me the contacts, child contacts associated to that account. And this would basically be a list of contacts. And on the list, I can operate by saying dot size. This gives me the count of the records that the list contains, which means I am fetching here all the related children, basically the count of all the related children or rather the related contacts per account the account which is in question right now okay right now what i'll do is i'll say if account record map dot get acc id this will again give me the entire account record i'll say dot max contacts allowed if this is less than equal to let's let's try to see this what happens i'll say if the maximum contacts allowed is less than or equal to the number of contacts per account. Should it be less than equal to? No, it should be just less than. Why? Because if it is equal to, that means we have reached the limit. And if it is more than that, I will be throwing the error. So what I can say is if the max contacts allowed is greater than equal to the number of contacts per account. Let's take an example. Let's see. Let's see we have an account ABC, which has three contacts. Okay. And we have said that the max contacts should be max contacts allowed should be five. Okay, what will happen now? What will this give me? The max contacts allowed will give me five. Okay, and number of contacts per account is basically three. So is five greater than equal to three? True. So it will not throw the error. Okay, and what if it is four? This would be basically max contacts allowed would be five. So is five greater than equal to four? True. It will still not give me the error. But what if it is equal to five? If it is equal to five, I think five is greater than equal to five is true it will st it should still not give me the error right and what if it is if, if it is six so now max contacts allowed is five is five greater than equal to six false then it should give the error right which means if i put a not condition here i can say account i can simply say
contact con is equal to new contact what should be the id of this contact i need to throw the error on the con record because i'm creating a contact record right so let's let, let's not do this okay let's wait because i have to figure out a way to find the contact record and before that what about this particular line is this correct if i say there are six contacts and the maximum count allowed is five so five is greater than equal to six is false and if it is false should it allow me to go inside or not or should it let me do it if max contacts allowed us five and number of contacts are six which means it should be throwing an error right i might be confused but let's see let's see okay so i'll go inside and just say system.debug for now and i'll say error with this contact insertion okay i have to basically find a way now to throw error on the contact record creation so i need the s object of contact type right because what am i trying to do here i was trying to create a contact right and right now here the problem with our current iteration is that i don't have the contact information in my context because normally what do we do we normally say for contact con in new records and then we iterate over it right so it is easy to say con dot add error because we have the s object con uh, context but here right now if you notice we just are iterating over the account record map and this is on the account id and everything is being, being done with that particular map so we don't have the contact um, context how do we figure out that context i'll just say add error and i should say this contact insertion is not allowed if i were to do something like this let's say if i say for contact con in new records what if i tried doing this if con dot account id equal to equal to i think this should work acc id then throw this error what if i did this would this work what do you think so do you see what did i do there if this particular requirement matches basically if the count is more than the number of contacts you should have you would come inside this would be logged which means there should be an error in creation and then i am just iterating over the entire record chunk and i am just figuring out which one which contact is same which contact has the same parent id if it has the same parent id i don't let it go ahead so i'll say con dot add error let's see if this works this should work i'll just test it out save okay let's test it out and let's now create one more uh, contact and i'll say test attempt to save this saved up fine which means it did not work what was the max contacts it was three right and we have created it was two and we have created four one four records so if i go to the logs and take a look at the logs take a look at the debug only this did not throw any error okay let's figure out what happened so the contact size was three right and max contacts allowed on the record was two okay and we went ahead and tried to create another record okay there might be some issue with this particular logic we'll just see how to how to figure it out so contact size is three which means number of contacts per account is three so how is this evaluating this is evaluating as two greater than equal to three is that true no it is false so if it is false it is not even going inside right so that's incorrect right there should not be two greater than equal to three is false so it will not go inside there has to be a not here right so if this is false and that overall evaluates to true that works or else if i if you want me to simplify it i'll just get rid of this extra braces and what if i just said less than now if two is less than three which means max contacts allowed is less than the number of contacts per account you want to throw the error simpler right so let's now test it out let's see if this works so i'll just save it and now let's go back and let's say new i'll say new attempt three let's say save so this is throwing the error right so it was not it is not letting me associate this particular contact with this account what if i try to associate it with someone else so if i go to community test i say save so this works fine it is associated with the community test account no issues there okay but it is not letting me insert and associate it here so that was our use case 
right quickly take a look what we did we basically came into the handle before context and here we already had some code written for some other requirement what we did was we wrote our own code code and we basically created a list of ids and then also a map to keep con id versus con dot account id did we use this map at all I'll just check because we normally create variables and we don't use it. We have not used this map. So I'll just go ahead and delete it. Okay. Because we were able to get everything from the account record map. What do I mean by everything? I mean the max contacts allowed field information. And also for every account record, I did an inner query that gave me all the child contacts. I iterated over the for loop using the key set. So every account ID came into the picture. I kept the number of contacts by checking the account record map dot get acc id dot contacts dot size so i got the number of contacts and then i checked if this contacts is less than the number of accounts there should be in the in the per account i throw the error okay and then to find the right context to whom i need to throw the error i had to do this for loop inside that's all cool so that was our use case 23 <music>